Supply chain management involves the flow of goods and services and includes all processes that transform raw materials into final products. It also involves the active streamlining of a business's supply side activities to maximize customer value and gain a competitive advantage. Economist at the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, NCPC, Shama Mathre, noted that due to the conflict in Ukraine and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, St. Lucia's economy has been directly impacted by supply chain issues, resulting in shortages of essential items such as sugar. She said one of the initiatives on the government's Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan seeks to find solutions to the supply chain and logistics issues affecting national productivity and competitiveness. Both regional and international agencies have approached the government in trying to come up with solutions to deal with the issue at hand. And so we felt that before we take any corrective measure, that a proper diagnosis of the problem should be done. And so this is why we're um, completing and designing a diagnostic survey. And it gives the private sector a chance at commenting on where the bottlenecks exist, um, what are their main challenges, um, um, how they feel that the government should intervene and also their recommendations on solutions to the problem. Mathren added that the NCPC is charged with leading this initiative and the survey instrument will provide quality data for evidence-based decision-making by policymakers. And I think that this is a very good example of evidence-based planning and strategy and project implementation because it ensures that whatever corrective measures are in implemented are backed by um, data and evidence-based and that the measures are in direct alignment with the needs of the beneficiaries being the private sector. The survey instrument has been designed and widely disseminated to the local business sector via their various associations. The NCPC is appealing for the participation of the private sector to complete the survey. So we at the Competitiveness Council see this as a dire issue affecting businesses in St. Lucia and that it is something that we need to address right away because it will contribute to um, lesser productive businesses. And, and so we're urging the private sector to get involved, to be a part of the solution. It only takes five minutes and to participate in this evidence-based approach. The diagnostic survey is available on Facebook at St. Lucia NCPC. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.